Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Spyro Reignited. So last time we finished uh, Spyro 1 with 120%, and this time we're going to be starting Spyro 2 Riptil's Rage. Which has no backdrop, apparently. Oh, probably because I haven't started it, because it says Artisans there, so... It's probably waiting for me to actually start the game before um, it shows some sort of backdrop. Um, as you've probably guessed, we're not necessarily going to be playing as Spyro. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Now, that definitely looked like Spyro. This buddy did not look like Spyro to me. Um, I'll leave it as an exercise to the viewer to figure out which mod this is. Oh no. Hmm. I see a problem. Is there a way to turn that off?
Hmm. All right. Uh, give me a minute. I'm going to have to figure out how to turn off Fireball. Okay, we're back and uh our flame is back to normal. Oh, I forgot to... there we go. Our flame is back to normal now. Hi Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Probably. The same sort of mob rules here. Um, if it's big, don't charge it. If it's uh, yeah, if it's big, don't charge it. If it's metallic, don't flame it. If it's big and metallic, find some other way. Also, um, this is going to be the first time that. Uh, we're not going to be able to get everything in our first pass, and this is going to persist for the next game as well, which kind of sucks. Yeah, me too. Now what's going on up there, but it's freaking annoying. Turn you to this place. See you around. Thank you, Zoe, for explaining to me the concept of checkpoints. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders, but it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. I don't think being short has anything to do with it, Shorty. But yes, that is why we're not going to be able to do everything here. Also, you, you see those little um, spirit things flying out of enemies? That will be explained in a little bit. First, we need to deal with capitalism. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Why? Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Uh huh. Sure, bud. To get a good look around, Zoe, press please. The action button. Try using action to look around this cave. I go look through this cave. Also, I do appreciate that what while you're in look mode, you have a full 360 view. You're not limited to where you're facing. Thanks 
for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. And so here's our game loop. We're probably going to need those. Next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Oh, what a, how convenient. That's exactly where we needed to go. But instead, we're going to go over here because we're not quite done with the stage yet. Not sure how I made that glide. So what's the deal with this Great. one? The super flight power up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Well, that sounds fancy. So this is our uh, game loop for extra things. There are 64 of these that we need to do. Some of them will have us flying, some of them will have us destroying enemies. Doing various things. In this case, we gotta do this. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. You sound a lot like me, by the way. That's an orb. We're going to need 64 of those. You can hear the excitement in my voice. So, some of them, pretty easy. Some of them are going to be a pain in the face. I'm able to make it there from here. No, we have to use a super fly power or flight this thing. Because what Spyro was missing was stars or jiggies or some sort of MacGuffin. So, there is a whole bunch of stuff that we weren't able to do um, in that cave area. So you might think, well, why not take this flight power up and go over there, right? That'll work, right? Well, it works a little bit, <laughs> but you saw that w that started draining real fast. Uh, I don't know if we'd be able to get over there, but you can see there's another um, another flight gate there. I don't think that's doable. We could barely get to this platform. Anyway, we're not going to worry about it. We'll come back later. I also didn't get everything here, but also we'll come back later. introduce ourselves before my name is Alora uh, hi I'm Spyro what are you some kind of goat 
I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I mean, I don't know that we're going to be that fast there, Spyro, but, you know. Um, one-ups have changed in this game. Blue butterflies are now the one-ups. There were blue butterflies in, uh, the first game, well, the reignited version of the first game, but they only gave you full health. In the original, uh, Spyro one, those were not a thing. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Can do. Go ahead and look down here, because there's probably going to be some more gems. Oh, what do you have to say? Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I did the thing. Now, I'm not really a fan the dragonfly following of being interrupted. Health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. How do you know this? You're not part of the Dragon Realms. I'm not really uh, much of a fan of Hunter. He is kind of a jerk, but uh, I still prefer his uh, his portrayal in this game over like the original trilogy because. I've always felt he sounded kind of condescending in the, uh, in his original portrayal. Like, hi Spyro, you can glide by pressing the jump button. Hi Spyro, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. 
And there is your new hover mechanic, your new, uh, well, gliding mechanic is hovering in this game and the next game. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. And then I forgot to hover. <laughs> Camera, can you please? You jump. Ooh. Good thing that dragons from a different dimension jump with A, too. Now he's here to remind us exactly what to do. There we go. Pretty good athlete. And we had to do this too. Shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Why don't you just give me all of the orbs that you have? Uh, maybe he's holding on to them so he can feel self-important. I don't know. Long story short, we're going to be talking to him again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. That's a capitalist for you. Really? Alright, so I guess we're going to have to do a stage. I think we needed 500, so the 400 we have now are not going to be enough. Sparks, please. Uh, Idle Springs and Colossus are our options. I think Colossus will not require us to know how to swim. And he was never heard from again, because he was dead. That's the joke. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. So, something that the, um, that the Reignited Trilogy changes is the, is the sound that the monks make when they start chanting. We got a little bit of a, of a sounder for that uh, during the cutscene. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. I prefer the original. Also worth noting, uh, enemies in this game do not uh, drop money. They only drop uh, spirits. So we don't have to kill everything. Why are you holding a hockey stick? Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. The uh, the difference in sound quality is a bit jarring, I will admit. Each time you defeat 
an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Sure can. again at the very top of your jump yes thank you Zoe well I didn't know how to jump and glide and admittedly spiral also didn't spiral legitimately did not know how to hover in the first game so that's an improvement I'm a vegetarian. I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Oh please. Let me show you. Oh, problem solved. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Ned, please. Anyway. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Alright, so we have uh, completed the main objective. And this is our um, our gateway power up here is the ability to spring really high. Hmm. Ah yes, I think I see a rocket over there. That's going to be how we get that box. I think I remember seeing... Yeah, there it is. Now how do I get over there? Dang it. Uh, I could be mistaken, but you, like you hear that little vocal in this track. I'm pretty sure it's actually going slow me down. Hey, Professor. Um, you appear to have been possessed. Spirit away, but now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. How do you know there are ten of them? Well, there's one of them. So I don't know if 10 is all of them or... Okay, so where was that? There it is.
Dang. Now where am I in terms of the stage? Okay. Having that mini-map definitely helps. Okay, no statues here. Can you please? There we go. Fortunately, this is not time limited. Uh, were there any statues over here? Nope. Now that's backward. Did I go here? Not recently. I do appear to have been here. And a button that, let, that lets me see how many not as far as I know. Monks are holding hockey sticks. Well, the statues are. This is mildly upsetting me. What do monks know of hockey? Man, I'm good at platforming. There probably isn't anything over here, but I want to confirm that for myself. Let's, let's keep this moving forward. So here I think there was a window. That leads to over here where there is a statue. And here's another new mechanic for this game. Ice. Oh no, we're going to be playing hockey, aren't we? Apparently twice. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? 
No. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Yeah, this seems like an unnecessary thing that they did. It's also really easy to juke these guys. Turn around, Spyro. Dang it. Was too far. Also, the goaltender checked me. I'm pretty sure that's a penalty. Really? Goal, tender goal! Imagine if we ran out of time having to do all that again. Have this. Would you like to try a game of one on one? Not really. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. I just noticed the audience in the background. I don't think that was there in the original. Fortunately, this is not timed. I mean, as, as, being a Canadian, you would think that I would be more excited about hockey than this, but uh, this, is, this is not the ideal way to experience hockey. Dang. No. Please block that. Thank you. Well done. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Elder Scrolls. Got it.
So yeah, um, getting a shutout was a skill point. There are skill points in this game. This is the first game that had skill points in the original. They were kind of added as an afterthought in uh, Spyro 1 Reignited. Anyway, we have one more uh, statue left to find, and also a few more gems. I also don't like that um, they show you your total count of gems and not how many gems um, you have from the stage. Please get that, Sparks. We got all the gems. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. How about you just give me those? Or really, how about you hold on to those and, like, you're the one who's gonna be using them in the end. Anyway, we finished the stage. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I don't remember if it is a requirement in this game to hit the return home portal. Uh, where was the exit? I was here. Ow. Easy enough. Um. <laughs> we gotta do the chanting, you dummy. They keep dying. <laughs> I, I think the real thing here is that we need to save them from themselves. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. 500 is not very small. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. You don't say. And now from being told how to swim, we know how to swim. I do want to go back here. But I think there's some stuff over here that we missed. Did I get everything here? Didn't miss any? Okay.
Yeah, the camera works a little differently underwater. It basically tries to point uh, behind you as much as possible. Now remember this sound. If you can hear this pinging sound, that means you're near a loose orb. There are a few of these. everything underwater anyway uh, there was another stage around here there it is idle springs More monks. No wonder they keep dying off. They are clearly a danger to themselves and others. Comedy! These are the jokes, folks. Now what do you have to Fire. say? The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. I guess these aren't the same people. And they're, they're probably the same race. But yes, this is why I came to Colossus first. Because in order to get everything in Idle Springs, you need to be able to swim. And the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Okay. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Can do. It's actually a very easy puzzle. You step on the corners. Oh no, they turned green. Meet me at the pond for the next challenge. And then we find out that they turn green, so the puzzle is nil. Was that there before? says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed 10 fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. But basically just don't blame the red ones, as is evidenced by the counter in the corner there, with blue and yellow. Thank you. 
Basically, if you feed him a red one, he'll spit out that red one and a couple of good ones, too. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Can do. Do hi. You haven't missed too much. Ah, uh, Kitty is surviving. How is Jewel? Hopefully better than just surviving. Did the mighty consume? Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Yes, we we've been doing this, Zoe. Thank you. So what, what did you mightily consume, if I may ask? If they were souls, I hope they were tasty. If it was rice with chicky, I hope it was tasty too. Yeah, I've been doing that too. Have you not been paying attention? Zoe, please. Sometimes this game is a little too similar to the original. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. So you might be asking, what is the correct order? Well, the correct order is uh, basically any button that matches at least one of the attributes of the previous button. So this is a blue star on a uh, a blue star in a square. This is a blue circle in a triangle. The green moon in a triangle. This one's also a moon. This one's also orange. And this one's also an octagon. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Shinies are good. It does kind of suck that uh, it brought me all the way back here. That's going to be a recurring theme in this game. Also, why were they whacking themselves in the head? Like I said, they're a danger to themselves and others. Please stop that, sir. 
That is not healthy behavior. I think I got everything here. There's stuff over there. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. I have a permanent job. It's savior of the universe. I'm not whacking my head with a hammer because I would like to not suffer brain damage. It's bad enough that I'm uh, crashing into walls all the time. Well, concussions are a form of brain damage, after all. I think there might be a um, skill point for landing on top of that thing. Again, I'm not going for all skill points. I don't hate myself. I supposed to get on that platform. Watch me one day and twenty hours. I'm pretty sure that's probably the most that someone has watched me last month, and I actually appreciate it, Jewel. Jewel, you are a jewel. Now I saw some other things too while I was over here. In particular, uh, this little area. What's going on here? Uh, is there someone we can talk to? It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. So this is how we achieve supercharge in this game. Your mouth is not world. moving, ma'am. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Now I think there's a skill point here. I'm not 100% sure, but I will check. Um, Idle Springs land on idle. 
So yeah, that idol I tried to land on before is what uh, is what it actually is. There's still some gems over there. Okay. We've gotten the gems in this little side area. I mean, this is, this is still a game intended for all ages, so... Difficulty 3 does not necessarily mean, like, extreme. It just requires some dexterity. Which might be... A little rough for yeah, a 10 to 15 year old kid. Right, okay. Yeah, I need to get over to the um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the all ages will include you, Joel. Unless you are literally ageless. What a... Spyro, please don't do that. And by Spyro, I mean... Yes, definitely Spyro and not anyone else. But, um... So what are you the god of, Jewel, exactly? Nope! Nope! Mm. God of Petite. Okay, let's see if I can make it up there. Nope. <sighs> like, part of the problem is that the remaining gems in the stage are between me and that idol. And also, every time I fail this jump, I need to go through all this again. Yeah, Spyro is no longer water soluble.
Maybe the maybe the water in the Dragon Realms. Maybe it just isn't actually water. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, it's not gonna make it either. I was hoping to at least make it around. Okay, I'm not going for the idol anymore. I'm just going for the gems. Because this is getting annoying. Like, um, unless I somehow make a jump where I, like, am a hundred percent sure that I can get there, I'm just not going to. I think I can safely do that once I get everything and I just keep all of the things. <laughs> that one on the left there is feeling very uncertain about the situation. Yep, we got everything. to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. That's oh, what I'm and doing. Collecting those orbs too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. What do you want, Your cat? Your camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. And that's the way I like it. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. It doesn't change anything about how the camera works underwater. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. You can't just teach me how to climb. Like, for free. It is her. Nice work, Spyro! The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway, but if you're oh, no. fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Here's our flight level for this game. But you might be thinking, well, I need to press this button, right, to get over there. Problem is, there's a door over there too, but there's no button. 
And if you look closely, there is an orb back there. So what do you do? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Good job. But that's the idea of what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, I can edit that in post. You know, all the editing that I do for these. There we go. What do you want? You see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Bribery. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Pretty sure you didn't do anything there, bud. Jump there, jump there. door will only open if you have all six summer forest talismans once the door is open ripto and crush will be waiting in the dungeon okie dokie um oh fairy towers is right here Well, that's just rude. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Here, here. Now, naturally. Being underwater causes a slight problem. No fire. Which, you know, makes sense. This might be resolvable if we have 14 spirit particles. Or, remember that. Let's take care of as many of these as we can while uh, this area isn't flooded. That's the way back. It's over here. Hmm. Well, those sharks seem friendly, right? Yeah, they won't bother us. Ow! Take my rage out on this random sheep. 
Hey, you say not not hot enough, Jewel. You're not wrong. down there. Well, there's a one-up, I guess. We'll replace that life that we lost from uh, demonstrating the sharks. you. Alright, there we go. You get that number up to 14, so. Let me get out of here. Shark infested. Capitalist bear. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. I wonder who put the sharks there. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it. Surely, though, we're going to have a way to deal with those sharks because there are some chests down there. And specifically, some uh, strong boxes. Hey, there was some. St Why did I keep walking? There was some stuff up there. I wanted the stuff. I didn't want to hit that yet. got the stuff. It's fine, everyone. I got the stuff. It looks like that looped us back possibly to the beginning of the level. Yeah, there's that four again. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Alright, so. Oh, that's a new one. It's time to play Super Hot.
can also flame the uh, the seaweed here. That is actually a skill point. I'm not gonna bother with that. As you can imagine, that's kind of annoying to get. So now there should be... Here it is. A way to get outside. Oh, there's Honda again. Also this guy. Water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. Borrowed? How do you borrow a, borrow if explosives? To the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. You sound like Maurice Lamarche. Are you Maurice Lamarche? Let's see if we can get the gems squared away for up here first. Not gonna talk to Hunter yet because I know what awaits me. This one has a two. And that's back over at three. I'm sure you see where this is going. still okay so there there's still some left uh, in the main stage also that one all right let's go talk to hunter Tame my new pet manta ray. Well, he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Oh no. Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. It's a manta ray. I don't think I can get him dented without probably killing or at least severely injuring him. something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Uh-huh. Pretty big orb to fit in your flippers. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Okay, good luck. Guess where the other orb is gonna come from. Surprise that counted. First try. Incredible. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. 
Ha <laughs> go away. Okay, let's go... Let's go help the king now. And possibly also find the rest of our gems. Also, yeah, th this game will be harder 200% than the first one. Obviously, I've done it before many times, so we're gonna get there. Fortunately, things get disabled on the way back down. Oh, Sparks, you're not looking too good, bud. There we go. Looking a little better now. So now we need to go back to uh, 5 and 6. First, we need to take care of you. Dang it. There we go. I think five and six were over here. Yeah. Where was five? Okay. Not here, apparently. At the very least, we've cleared this area out, so we can just swim through. And did I get all, all the gems here? Apparently. some more sharks over here. There's five. Sorry for the flashing lights, by the way. So I think the start of the stage is nearby, like over here. Yeah. So we can take care of those sharks. Or, you know, completely fail. the sharks. I was promised a herd of sharks. There it is. pointing to.
Must be outside somewhere. Ah, we're back at the start. Hmm. The six is over here. There we go. Just for good measure, let's go ahead and take the return home portal. It's not too far away, provided I can find the way back under. There it is. Ow. Warb. Nope. If you're not dead. Everyone keeps dying in these. Also, nice little indicator that you've done this stage. You can see the talisman floating up out in front of it. Later on we'll be able to also see the orbs we've collected from each stage. Okay, so that's the talisman door. Accompanied by the talisman dork. And two stages here. We got Sunny Beach, we got Hargos. Hmm. Hargos. I was also contemplating just going straight to break, but uh, let's at least get her go starting. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders. But now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. It's right over there. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds about right, Tyrion. Which, considering what they were marketing at the time, kind of made sense. So which uh, where's the where's the wind, Drew? There is is it windy in your area? Babuli, babuli. I'm going to sing a song. It's called. It's nice to be nice. Hmm. 
probably need to approach from up here. Ah, Herco sounds like big wind. I can I can I can definitely uh, confirm a hurricane is big wind. Especially considering that we've had two of them uh, basically hit us in the last you know three, four years. Which is not typical weather behavior. This challenge. Ah, these gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. So this isn't so much about replacing the stones as it is about catching the thieves. Because if you can replace all of the stones, I'll get to you in a second. If you can replace all of the stones even without catching the thieves, then that's fine. Problem is, you're usually going to get to like, um, like putting in like half of the stones and then one of them gets stolen out from under your nose. Also, thank you for the resub, J-Pop. Eight months, man. I saw you. I've definitely seen uh, speedrunners do this. Without um, Without putting, uh, without defeating all of the um, thieves. Come on, you jerk. There we go. Generally, the way to draw them out is you put a couple here, then you go over to the other side. One of the thieves, the thieves will have come out and juke to me completely. Pop it back in. In classic, why did you not flame there, Spyro? In classic, it would give you like alarm sounds and things to let you know that something was happening somewhere. Uh, hang on. Emergency alert. Vulnerable missing person.
Unfortunately, I do not have any information on this person. I hope that they are recovered safely. There we go. We have dealt with all of the thieves. If in doubt, murder. I mean, I can condone that in the context of a video game. It's not always the answer, Jewel. There we go. I think there was an extra one, too. Quarter of the way through Heracos now. Still got two orbs and uh, five eighths of the gems left to go, as well as the talisman, of course. But uh, I think it's probably a good time for a break. I don't really like the idea of breaking in the middle of a stage, but that's what we're doing. Also, we're already about a quarter of the way through the game. Uh, no, a fifth of the way through the game, sorry. 17%. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to pause for a moment. So y'all can uh, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And at about 10-15 minutes, we shall complete Hercos and uh, go on to complete the rest of Summer Forest, hopefully today. So, I'll see you in a bit.